Kenna. Kenna. Get up. I don't want to teach no more eighth grade kids. Kenna. No more bad eighth graders. Get no. up. What am I? Boy. No more What's going on? Wake up. What's going on? What happened? Get up. You need to do your confessions. Oh, my confessions. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. I'm ready. You know, it's definitely important to talk about poverty. Um, that's going to be my subject, my topic um, on a serious note. Um, one, in seven, one in seven American children are in poverty. 18 million kids total in America. Something that's important to me because I grew up underneath those circumstances. You know, didn't have the best of the clothes, didn't have the best of the food, etc. So, um, you know, this is something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the next couple of days working on redeveloping a, um, a shack. I guess that's what you can call it, um, where people come and donate clothes. They even put a little food pantry in there as well. It's in rough shape. I'm going to refurbish it, paint the outside, clean up the trash on the inside, um, and then donate some clothes as well. Um, that's my proposal. Those are my goals, three goals. So paint the outside, clean up the inside, and of course, donate some clothes. And I'm gonna get that done in a jiffy. All right, eighth graders, good luck. Looks like uh, Lloyd is gonna help me pick out the clothes. Um, I don't do that, Lloyd. Look at you there. So what I usually do is um, I just grab clothes that I either can't fit anymore or have gone out of style. Like these pants. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> but usually it's stuff that I can't fit anymore. I jam it to the back. Like these dress pants. I gotta go. These dress pants. I think I like these. Let me see. I don't know. I gotta go. They gotta go. That's one, two, three. These things like bell bottoms. I don't even know if I own those. Yeah, so that's four. Let's get rid of all of these. They all gotta go. Um, you know. Let's see what else. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep the rest of this stuff. You know what though? This here? This ugly. Let's donate it. That's real ugly. Don't you agree? Here you throw it out. I have to get you in. Now let's go look at shirts. So what I do for shirts is if it's a if it's not the size that I currently wear, I gotta get rid of it. Or if it's a color that's out of style, I gotta get rid of it. And I see some stuff that's out of style like that. I can still fit it, but it's out of style. So that's gotta go. You know. I'm just gonna grab this whole stack over here because these all look like they're out of style. What is that? Polyester, that's gotta go. 16 and a half, I ain't never wore that size. Uh I can still fit this blue one, but the color kinda off. You know. I think I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna give you one more spring. But that's gotta go. That's gotta go. That's gotta go. I feel like it's some more in here. Mm. Let's see. Pink. You can never go wrong with pink. I'm gonna keep that. That purple. It's gonna come back. So I'm gonna keep that purple joint. Uh, uh, no, I don't. But I'm keeping that. Um, shoot. Hey, that might be it for today. Um, uh, maybe I can give up some of these shoes. There we go. Uh, I'll holler. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Uh, these. Ooh, they dusty because I ain't never wore those now. You see that dust right there? That's bad. Uh, I could get those Tim's away. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, haven't worn Timberlands since high school. Don't get those away. Can I get these away? Heck nah. Well. That looks like, um, I'm going to walk away, you. If you ain't gonna help me, then you can just get out of the way. It looks like everything. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and head off. You know, go ahead and get to work, I guess. See you later, eighth grade children. Deuces. All right, here we go. You know, there's a little shack here. I need to come up with some sort of name for it. But I'm just gonna call it the shack. Got a little bit of, um, you know, fire damage here. Um, paint spilling, obviously. Trash around. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know. There's a random mattress over there. You don't know. This is gonna be a tough one now. I talked a big game. Now it's time for me to get to work.
Um, that's the, the corner right there I used to get my clothes from. This is just, what they used to do is just like bring a truck down the street, pull up, and just like dump stuff right there. But I don't do it no more. Well, Jesus Christ, pray for me. All right. Heck nah, y'all ain't listening to me. Just that side and this side. Okay. This wall over him. Over. Hmm. And then there we go. All right, we got some relief in the building. Jakai, go ahead and say hi, I guess. Uh, she don't know what she's doing. You I do, and you gotta roll it. Like you that. gotta keep rolling, roll it. She knows what she's doing right here. <laughs> Jakai, come on, you don't need that much. Sure, okay. <laughs> there you go. Don't forget, if y'all can get this top joint too, uh, okay. that'd be cool too. Yeah. Man, y'all can find through that. That paint is expensive, yo. Yeah, I'd be careful with that. How much is going to get? It's not even. It's like sixty dollars. Oh, okay. That's what we're just gonna pour that bucket in there. I thought you were doing. Who? Yes, went to the doctor. I have a broom. It's right there. What's your name, kid? Devin. Devin. Say hi to the camera, sir. We appreciate your efforts, kid. What grade are you in? Uh, ninth. ninth grade? High schooler. Okay, I'm getting too excited around these young ladies. They, they real young, kid. I'm gonna get too excited. All right. <laughs> All right, we got some new partners. We have Lydia on deck. Lydia, we appreciate your efforts. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for working. I see you have your gorilla. She has the gorilla grip on. She's ready to work, most definitely. And we have um, Lydia Spring. Can you tell me your name one more time? Max. Max, thank you for your assistance. She is also gorilla grip ready. Awesome. Let's get to it. Let me know when it's on, you know. It's on. All right, so real quickly, Lydia, let's just go ahead and pan through a little bit of the thing. Painted. We got this interior completely cleaned up. Except for the glass you left on the windowsill? Yeah, we got somebody coming to clean it up, you know. We donated some clothes. So the clothes have been donated. And, you know, we got this other side cleaned up over here as well. That was me. Let's go down the street. Let's go down the street. Grandpa's here already. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll pick it up from here. Thank you, ma'am. Well, let's go ahead and run through this um, reflection. Go ahead and do it on site. Definitely had a good time putting this stuff together. Got lucky. Got a handful of students to assist in the process. Shout out Lydia. Shout out Max. Um, shout out Jakaya. Shout out Janice. Young fella in the neighborhood. I don't even. I didn't get his name, but he came and showed a little bit of uh, love. Came through and helped a little bit. There it is in the background. You know, since I used to live in this neighborhood, I figured why not do my reflection as I walk down my old street. Um, you know, this was a, a definitely a, a positive experience for me. Um, you know, I, I talked about it a little bit in my confession that you know poverty is important to me. And as I walk through this neighborhood that I used to live in. It's quite obvious that poverty is still here and it's something that still affects me. I mean, so glad I was able to do a little bit in that regard. Um, that's been a place where I've donated clothes. I'm just going to continue to do so. Um, and at, at some point, whenever I have time, I probably need to come back to the old neighborhood and um, put together a mentoring program, something that, you know, the young fellas, the young kids, specifically the young men in this area can benefit from. Um, you know, because the, the kid that I bumped into,
whole family live live on this street and you know you just hate hate for it but uh definitely something i got to think about more i put one together a few years ago and i need to um you know put some action to it here is my old house right here you know stropman all the way at the top was my room right there that was the that was the bedroom got into a lot of trouble up there now um it used to have like a little balcony me and my brothers used to sit up there and um we would shoot like uh, spitballs at people and stuff like that or water balloons you know stuff that bad kids do but um yeah definitely a positive experience i would definitely recommend um you students or adults just give back if you're in a position where you can give back and even if you're not whatever you can do do as you guys saw in in uh, my earlier videos with uh, my students they didn't come here with money they didn't come here with clothes they just came here with their own two hands and it's definitely appreciated and definitely respected you know i'm not completely sure if when i was you know 11 12 years old i'd be dedicating my sundays to uh to um working for free but we got a few kids that did that so that's um definitely love right there well my rambling is done you know i've done a lot of talking done a lot of work now it's time for me to go get some chinese food i'm by um kings on grand a half order pork fried rice chicken wings crab ragoon best sodi fruit punch